How did Fatima al Fihri change the world of education? The world's first purpose built university began in the mind of a progressive and God conscious young Muslim woman called Fatima al Fihri. According to the United Nations, Guinness World Records, and Manchester University Press, this university is the oldest in the world and remarkably still in use today. This university is not located in Oxford in the UK or Harvard in the USA, but in Morocco, in the beautiful city of Fez. When it opened in the early 9th century, the university quickly became a place bursting with students who sought greater and a more structured religious knowledge and education. Like many of today's universities, El Qarawiyin University hosted classes on Islamic law history, medicine, and science, and housed several libraries containing thousands of books. But who was Fatima al-Fihri, who left behind such a great legacy? Well, she was born in 800 AD to a rich merchant father, Muhammad al-Fihri, who originated from Banu Fahr, a well-known Quraysh tribe sent to North Africa during the Caliphate of Muawiyah. Fatima spent her life in Fez, then, as is now, an important commercial city and a crossroad of people from many backgrounds and cultures. It was here one could imagine the young Fatima seeing merchants and traders and travelling scholars and students where she developed an unquenchable thirst for knowledge of religious science, astronomy and poetry. When both Fatima's parents passed away, Fatima and her sister, Maryam, were left a huge inheritance. And being a committed and confident Muslim, Fatima decided to embark on the project which would mark her out as a change maker. Not only would she use her wealth to build a grand mosque, but Al Qarawiyin, the first university named after her hometown, Qurawain, in Tunisia. Right from the beginning, and over the many years, the El Qarawiyin University was a great success. Students of knowledge crossed deserts, oceans and mountains just to learn from great teachers. Some of the most famous people associated to the university included Ibn Rushd, who developed philosophy and maths, the geographer Al Idrisi who drew landmaps of the world, and Pope Sylvester II who learnt Arabic numerals and took his knowledge to the Western Hemisphere. Today, El Qarawiyin Historical Library is still open to the public and exhibits Fatima's original diploma on a wooden board, boasts more than 4,000 original manuscripts, including the famous 14th century text, Muqaddimah, by the celebrated historian Ibn Khaldun. And today, people still come all over the world to El Qarawiyin to walk across its open-aired courtyard, glance upwards at its simple, distinctive minaret, take in the warm atmosphere of higher learning, and read the collection of its treasured manuscripts. El Qarawiyin University was certainly a great investment, which Fatima made centuries before, leaving behind the best and inspired tools for people and change, knowledge.